Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. So I fancied doing another art journal page today. And I thought I would have another play with one of my random 52 weekly inspiration prompt cards. So this is the one that I pulled out at random. Um, I'd already, well I have already pre-gessoed my pages, I kind of did that before I even got started. Um, I gessoed the pages and then I pulled the card out because regardless of what I was going to do <laughs> I probably need to gesso the pages anyway and I fancied doing a double page spread. So when I saw the word duplicate I thought to myself what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put paint on one of the pages and then I'm going to close my art journal and do that kind of ink blot kind of background so that I'm duplicating or replicating on one side on the other. Um, and of course we've got those nice kind of colours as well so we've got some nice greens also fading into some kind of like grey blues and then we've got the brown as well. So I think when it comes to doing the brown I might introduce a little bit of metallic in there. But that's kind of where I want to go with this today. So I've got my Strathmore um, Mixed Media Journal. I've cleaned off my paint palette and I've just added in that. I thought, as soon as I'm going to be doing um, the, the like watery colory things, I've got out my Neo Colour 2s and I've just put a little bit of um, the Neo Colour down, literally just coloured it into um, onto the palette because it's kind of like waxy it, it, it grabs and then all I have to do is to, just to grab a little bit of water and that's going to activate the paint he says like so and then I can start adding paint down and then, literally, if I mix it enough, <laughs> make sure that there's enough paint and enough water, which I obviously don't have there. Ooh, that might do it better. So mix up the nail colour. Hello you. Good afternoon everyone. What are you up to? I've got to print out some prints to put behind some frames for some screens on some machines I'm making. Oh, right, okay. <coughs> Please excuse me. There you go. So we're actually getting a little bit of kind of like duplicate um, patterning just in the background. So providing we add on enough water and colour, drop it over, give it a squish, we're kind of getting a nice little pattern. And it doesn't matter what side <clears throat> you actually put this on because if you're closing the pages you're going to transfer the colour over anyway. So let's give it a push and there we go. So we're building up patterns and colours and if you want to just lift it up Add a bit more in different areas, give it a squish. So this is probably going to take quite a bit of time for me to build up a pattern. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably set it going and then go onto fast forward and add some music then you can see what I'm doing with the background, how I'm picking up the colour um, and transferring it and building up the pattern. So this may take a while. So the plan was to add some um, talking throughout the entire of this process but again my video camera that I use to record um, these videos is playing up slightly um, and occasionally cuts out with the audio so um, it cuts out about three times in different areas 
while I was doing this background piece. So um, I just decided to add the music completely from the start to the end of adding the background pattern. So that's what you've got. You've got music from now on right the way till I finish adding the near colour in the background. Um, so I hope you find music relaxing and enjoyable. I will catch you when I get to that bit in the video. Okay, so I think I've got enough colour down on that page. I've introduced <coughs> um, that neo colour, the last neo colour was called Russet, which I think is the nearest colour that you're going to get to the tea. And I've got those greens and greys in there too. Um, and I've obviously duplicated what's on one side, or mirrored what's on one side to the other side. Um, but I don't know about you, but while I was actually doing that, a few things started to leap out at me. Um, I've got this shape here, which looks like now looks like a pair of ears. So if you follow that down in the middle, you've also now got a pair of eyes. And then as it comes down here, it kind of starts to resemble the shape either of a horse or <laughs> what jumped out at me was if you look at a photograph of a close up of um, the head of a, a cricket or a locust or something like that, you kind of like see that shape there. And then just right at the very end, um, you've got these shapes appearing here, which kind of look like wings. So now when I look at this, I see the ears of a horse coming down, nostrils flaring, eyes, and then just in the background, a pair of Pegasus wings just popping out from the background. That's literally what my eyes are seeing whenever I look at this picture. And again, completely random, completely by chance, and never 
to be repeated or duplicated. So I think that is what my quote is going to be for this page. Um, I'm going to write down the sides here, um, or maybe just down this side, or maybe just down this side. Um, and I'm just going to write the words And then I'm going to sign it and date it, whatever date it is today. Uh, always uh, 23rd. So I hope you enjoyed that. I've actually added the same phrase again down that side just to add a little bit of balance to the page. <laughs> One of those things. So I hope you did enjoy that. If you did, Please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, like I said at the beginning, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. And if you're interested in owning your own pack of these random 52 weekly inspiration prompt cards as a digi download, then the link is just there up in the top right hand corner there to these on my website where you can print off all the sheets, including um, a back. So you can make them look really, really good. And the box is also part of the Digi Download too. So that's all from me. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.